In this video, I'm going to give you some general advice on refilling ink cartridges with a printhead. These are mostly found in two cartridge machines produced by HP, Dell, Lexmark and Canon. If you're unsure, just flip your cartridge over and you'll be looking for something like this. With the printhead protruding from the part on the bottom. If you can see a metallic strip like this, you should be able to refill it. If your cartridge does not match this description, then replacement cartridges will almost certainly be comparatively cheap. And we generally recommend purchasing compatible replacements instead. This is because cartridges like this are lacking in the mechanical parts that increase their value and also normally need their chips resetting, something that is becoming harder to do as time goes on. To refill your cartridge, you will need a surface that you don't mind getting a little inky. I've slapped some cardboard down here over my normal desk. The relevant colors of ink to refill your cartridge. For a black cartridge, you just need the black ink, but for color refills, you are likely to need cyan, magenta, and yellow. For refilling at home, I would recommend investing in some bottles of universal ink, which can be found online for a reasonable price. I would also recommend getting your hands on a syringe of each color you are using. You could, however, just rinse the same syringe between colors until the water expelled looks clean. You do, however, run the risk of contaminating the ink inside your cartridge by doing this. Plenty of tissue paper, kitchen tissue is recommended, but toilet tissue is fine too. And some rubber gloves if available. Additionally, you may need a tool to widen the holes in the lid of your cartridge if the needle does not fit. There are dedicated tools in many refilling sets, but you can always use a pin vise, a hand drill, or even a square awl. Now you have everything ready, it's time to start refilling. First, remove the label from the top of your cartridge. You will want to expose the holes on the lid, as we will be injecting ink directly into these. HP cartridges normally have sufficiently wide holes, but Dell, Canon and Lexmark will probably need widening. Now we will need to identify which colour goes into which hole, ensuring there is sponge on the other side to receive the ink. Many modern ink cartridges have empty chambers and injecting ink into these will just be a waste. On black cartridges, this is nice and simple and you can inject it into the hole that is closest to the printhead or split it between equidistant holes if there is more than one. On colour cartridges, it is a little more complicated though. Hopefully you will be able to see which colour goes into which sponge, thanks to staining from the initial filling of the cartridge. If you do have any doubts, we have video guides for most popular cartridges on the YouTube, as well as written guides on our company blog. Please do let us know if you are unable to find a guide for your specific cartridge and we will see what we can do. Use a syringe to suck up the appropriate amount of ink for the cartridge in question. Now insert a needle into the sponge so that it's most of the way into it without risking jabbing the membrane or print head in the bottom. Now slowly inject your ink into the sponge, ensuring the ink doesn't start filling the void above the sponge in the cartridge. We don't want to have ink slopping around in the chamber or flowing into a neighboring color. I would again recommend checking out one of the more specific guides for recommended quantities, but you can always just fill it until you see the ink is no longer being absorbed by the sponge and suck a small amount of ink back up again. With the cartridge refilled, either reapply the label or pop a small piece of tape over the holes again. Try not to make the tape too large or overlap the edges, as it may prevent the cartridge from going back into the printer correctly. The cartridge can now be installed into the printer again. However, the ink may need a helping hand getting where it needs to be within the cartridge. So I would recommend running a cleaning cycle from your printer or printer software and then checking the results. You can always do more cleans to pull ink through if necessary. If you do not know how to do cleans from your printer, please check your printer manual on one of the many video guides we have on YouTube. Should you struggle to get a result you are happy with, just place the head of the cartridge on a damp spot of some folded kitchen tissue for a minute or so to draw the ink out. If you have the time, it may be worth leaving your cartridge for a while or even overnight to give the ink a chance to settle. Then just run another cleaning cycle and you will hopefully be up and running. With the majority of refilled cartridges, the unit will still warn that it is low on ink. They should, however, not stop you from printing and any warning can simply be ignored until the ink runs out again, with you having to give a small prompt to the printer at the very worst. Just be sure to read any messages given to you carefully or look up any codes given to you by the printer, just to make sure nothing is being overlooked. Canon cartridges in particular require the press of a specific button. Please bear in mind that this style of cartridge does rely on the tiny, intricate mechanical printhead in the cartridge to dispense the ink. 
These print heads are only officially intended to be used for the initial life of the cartridge and will eventually stop printing correctly. They could stop functioning very quickly or last you many refills. Just remember that any additional life you get from the cartridge is a bonus. If you found this video useful, please do let us know with a like. If however there's something else you'd like to know, please do let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.